What is up guys? Welcome to FC365i device central. Yes, I did clean my um, desktop. You don't have to say it. Today we're talking about iOS 9.3 and iOS 9.2 jailbreak from Lufame. Is it real? Is it working? Or is it a fake or a scam? Let's find out. So what I'm talking about is actually this website, lufame.com, which was actually featured on Pangu's website. <laughs> At this point, you might think, wow, this must be real. So let's see the website. The website looks pretty cool, looks with a lot of information and a lot of things uh, regarding the, uh, the system, the application, the whatever, and comparison and so on. And we have a big button right here. The size is 10.4 megabits, updated on uh, first of the, fir the fourth, uh, 2016 and the version is 1.0. So let's download the Lufa Me. We'll take actually um, a couple of seconds. Okay. And in meantime, let me show you on Pangu jailbreak page, english.pangu.io, there's no iOS 9.3 jailbreak when in this Lufa Me you can find iOS 9.3 jailbreak written. So is it real? Let's find out. I'm gonna open the archive and take the executable away. And of course, the first thing I have to do before opening this thing is to scan it because it might contain Trojans, it might contain viruses, spywares, adwords, and a lot of security threats. So I'm gonna take this application right here within a couple of tools uh, that aim to be uh, scanning this thing. As you can see, the first thing that is not right is that the application is 13 megabits, not 10 megabits, as it's stated on the web page. So let's scan it first with uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. I gotta turn on this thing. So no threats were detected on your PC during this scan, okay. So Microsoft Security Essentials found this, um, this thing clean. Let's take it through another scan. Hmm. I think my computer is being slowed down a little bit by, the, um, by this, uh, this thing trying to activate itself. Okay, so there's no problem in uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. Let's try Super Anti-Spyware to see if there, if there is any spyware program in this application, because it looks too good to be true. They provide a software. They're not like any other scammer, they provide a software to download. So something must be fishy in other part. Okay, so super anti-spyware says it has no viruses, no spywares. Good, and let's take it through another step with malware bytes to see if there is anything in malware bytes. Okay, so uh, with malware bytes, we actually uh, took this application in three different antivirus softwares from three different companies, and we expect to see if the application has any problems or not. It's in the pre-flight mode, pre-scan operations. Let's see if we have anything to worry about before we open this thing, because we can't simply download something and double click the uh, head of the application and open it, because we risk uh, losing our computer entirely in a virus or something like that. Don't, don't simply open things from the internet. So no, no threats identified, hmm, kind of strange. Okay, so um, I'm going to open it then, if it's clean. Of course, uh, the application, as I said, looks too good to be true, and we'll find out that it really is too good to be true. Okay, so I gotta take my device, it's an iPhone 4S, which is not activated, but it's running iOS 9.3. So, Lufa Me version 1 only supports iOS 9.2 and iOS 9.3. Hmm, strange. I'm gonna connect my device and you will see what happens. It actually say, uh, device name, device not detected, iOS version, iOS version undefined. Hmm, good. I'm gonna connect an iPhone 4 then, which is running iOS 7.1.2. Uh, the same thing. Now I gotta connect an iPhone 3GS. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, same thing. So, guys, there is a problem with this application, and we knew it. Okay, now let's try to close this application. Boom! There is something right here, a square saying Lufa me, and I'm going to click learn more. And we'll be brought to a page saying nothing has till broken. It's an April 1st prank. Luf a me a a equal I am a fool. So the website means I am a fool. It's backwards. Okay, now it's time to prank your friends. No, it's not time if you don't want to get killed by a uh, rage friend. Okay. So, what's the problem with this app? Actually, it was created as a prank, as a um, April 1st prank, probably either by Pangu or by any other uh, company, but uh, it's pretty much very bad to create a prank like this about jailbreak for iOS 9.3 when everybody is awaiting for a jailbreak since months. It's not the best idea for a prank, trust me, and yeah. If you click here on the camera, it says upgrade my camera and something like that, whatever it says right here. And nothing happens, of course. More camera effects, you can use photos, whatever, it's... Uh, you got it, it's fake, it's, a, um, it's definitely a prank, but looks pretty real. So, now that we know that it's a prank, let's see what's inside it. I'm going to open it with WinRAR and as you can see it's not even an application very good it's basically an application created with some autoplay or something like that here you have every button everything CD root and so on definitely nothing very uh, yeah so it's based on Libby mobile device <laughs> Does it surprise you? It's based on uh, Livey Mobile device and um, 3K jailbreak, whatever, and CDR start. Those are applications, fake applications that are meant to um, to actually fool the user if the user happens to open what I opened right here to see. Oh, CDR start cleaning jailbreak, hmm. but it's not real, guys. So it's just a very good made fake. They actually use Libby mobile device components to make detection of the device, which is of course kind of good prank, but no, it's not a prank to made to make when you know that no jailbreak for iOS 9.3 is available and we don't know when it will be. So guys, don't fall for this because why I make this video knowing this is fake? Because I saw this application on eBay for 400 bucks. Guys, it's 400 bucks. Someone tried to actually um, to actually sell it for 400 bucks and it's a fake application. Imagine the terror. So do not buy this application. I, I made this video to make you aware of the fact that it's fake. It's an April 1st prank, probably from Pangu or any other one and do not buy this application in any other way, okay? As you can see on, a, on official Pangu's website, you don't see any iOS 9.3 jailbreak, and this is the first clue that the application Lufami is fake. This is basically it, guys. Don't forget to check out iOS jailbreak updates playlist I made. You can check out everything, and of course, the first video will always be the most updated one to watch, and you will know if a chill break appears for um, for your iOS device or for your iOS version. So you will always know what's up. And of course, don't forget to check out the channel entirely. If you are jailbroken, you can enable the 50 con on, uh, on the dock or you can of course uh, see Apple um, iPhone 7 photo leaks, latest photo leaks, or of course, um, know how to jailbreak, how to buy a cyclone, and I keep you updated about anything related to iOS. So I really hope you will you will like this channel and I really hope you will subscribe to, to stay updated. Till the next time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like the video, if you don't like the video, thumb down, and yeah, peace out. See you then guys, bye.